What's up guys, welcome back to Daniel Talks Football right here on YouTube. I'm Daniel and we are back with another video. In this video we're just going to be having a little bit of a sit down and have a look at the transfers that have been going on recently. I haven't had much time today but I'm still trying to do a video every single weekday for as long as I possibly can. So I'm going to sit down and have a just look at a couple of transfers that are going on at the moment. We've got a look at Lavia, we've got a look at Hoyland and we've also got a look at Connor Gallagher. Before we do get into the video, please make sure to like the video, comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel. Go over follow the TikTok and the Instagram, Daniel Talks Football on both. Right, let's start off with Romeo Lavia. Now, Liverpool are apparently set to again bid for Romeo Lavia. This would be a 45 million package. This is according to Fabrizio Romano, who have said that Liverpool bid will be around 42.5 million plus next to 2.5 million of add ons. Southampton have apparently always asked for fifty million final price. Uh, Liverpool are going to be uh, fast on this deal apparently because Chelsea are keeping a close eye on it, um, and Arsenal have gone quiet on this transfer as Thomas Partey could be staying at the football club. So it looks like Lavia is going to be going to Liverpool then, at the moment at least. Obviously, this is one of those transfers where if it changes, it wouldn't surprise you at all. And there are a lot of clubs that are waiting in the dark. It wouldn't surprise me to see City possibly try and pounce on us. We saw there was an interest in Declan Rice for them. Um, was that just get asked to spend the money? I'm not sure. But we did see there was an interest in Declan Rice from Man City. So it wouldn't surprise me to see City pounce back on this deal. However, it does look like Romeo Lavia is going to be leaving Southampton. Now, I think a move to Liverpool would work really, really well. We obviously know that the Jordan Henderson to uh, Al... Which one does Gerald manage? Al Etifak? I don't know. I get, I get confused. Um... John Henderson's going to Saudi Arabia anyway. It's looking like Fabinho could be staying, apparently. There's, that deal's hit complications. The reports of it being surrounding his breed of dog being banned in Saudi Arabia are false. That's not the reason why uh, Fabinho is not going to be going. But apparently the deal has hit complications. From what side on, I'm not sure. But the deal has hit complications. So that does make this signing make a little bit less sense for Liverpool. However... Fabinho isn't going to be there forever. You've got Bajatic coming through, obviously, but Lavia would just go in and make that midfield so much better. You've then, if Fabinho stays, you've got quite a stacked defence midfield options between Fabinho, Bajatic and Lavia. Attacking, more attacking ways, you've obviously got Sobazai, you've got McAllister, you've got Curtis Jones, you've got Harvey Elliott if he wants to play in there. Um, you've got options. I think this Lavia deal would work really, really well. 45 million is a lot of money, but Romeo Lavia is worth it. Romeo Lavia is young. He is a good player, and he will be worth all this money. If it happens, I think it's a very, very good, good deal. Obviously, Southampton know they probably do need to sell Lavia this summer. It's worth remembering that Man City have a 40 million buyback clause for 2024. That's not valid for this summer. That's valid for 2024. So if they don't accept a fee like 45 million this summer, they try and wait for 50, they don't get it. Then Romeo Lavia will probably leave next summer for 40 million. So Southampton do know they have to sell. I think he will go to Liverpool. I think he'll probably go for 45 million, to be honest. I can see them having a bit of a negotiations on the add ons. This won't just be a flat rejection from Southampton. There will be a negotiation there after this after this bid has been submitted. And I think Lavia will go to Liverpool. What do you make of this signing? Let me know in the comments below. And we will move on to Rasmus Hoyland. Now, again, according to Fabrizio Romano, Hoyland's camp and Manchester United have agreed on personal terms as for a five-year contract until 2028. It also includes an option to extend for a further season, which is the exact, exactly the same as Manchester United did with Andre Onana. Um, United have actually submitted an official, well, not an official bid, a verbal bid for Rasmus Hoyland of around 60 million. Um... Understand uh, Fabrizio, Fabrizio Romano has said that the bid structure is 50 million euros fixed fee plus 10 million euros add-ons and Atalanta have wanted at least 70 million euros fee. Um, apparently Paris Saint-Germain ha have kept speaking to Hoyland's camp. Uh, Manchester United is the player's priority destination but they have to be fast in order to avoid any hijack from PSG. I think Hoyland will be going to Manchester United. I can see this deal happening. However, if this Mbappe deal speeds up to whoever he's going to go, if he's going to go to Saudi Arabia, if he's going to go straight to Real Madrid, which is a crazy situation in itself, the fact that he could be going to Saudi Arabia just for a single year to earn that much money. I'm not doing another video on Mbappe, but it would be crazy. Um, there will be another video on Mbappe soon. But... 
this is a good signing for Manchester United if they can get it over the line. It's obvious why it's so expensive. Hoyland is a very good player, and I'm not going to deny that. But if Haaland, and this seems like a stupid thing to say, but it's true, if Haaland hadn't become such a big name, Atalanta would have accepted this, I think. Haaland being such a big guy kind of boosts Hoyland's transfer fee by 5 to 10 million. It's increased the hype around him simply because, you know, the names are kind of the same and stuff like that. And it sounds stupid, but it's true. It's boosted the hype around Rasmus Hoyland. I think if Hoyland does go to United, I think he'll be an excellent signing. I think he will do well with Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag. Ten Hag seems like the kind of manager that he could thrive under. And I think, again, if this transfer were to go through, what an excellent signing it would be for Manchester United. And then last but not least, we have Conor Gallagher. Now, apparently West Ham have submitted a £40 million bid for Conor Gallagher. This has been rejected by Chelsea. Chelsea went around £50 million. I can see a club playing that this summer. I think it's stupid if they do pay. I don't think Conor Gallagher is a £50 million player. I think a 30 35 West Ham to pay 40 because of the Declan Rice deal, fine, makes sense. But for £50 million, I don't think Conor Gallagher is worth £50 million. I think for £50 million, it's better to go and get James Ward-Prowse. For 35 to 40 million. I think that is the deal that makes more sense. Yes, Southampton will be selling Lavia, but does Ward Prowse want to stay at the club? If he doesn't, then 35, 40 million is the kind of fee you could get him for, and that would be a fair fee. I'm looking at 50 million for Conor Gallagher. I'm thinking that's stupid. I hope no one pays it this summer. Um, I think Chelsea should have accepted or entered negotiations on 40, counter with 45, try and get for, try and get 45, try and get 42, 43, and go with that. Look, it's an interesting proposal, Conor Gallagher, to West Ham because he's not the exact kind of Declan Rice replacement they need. They need a six, and Conor Gallagher isn't a six. He's never been a six. If they're looking to bring in a flat six, then go for somebody like an Ibrahima Sangare. That would be an excellent deal. 30, 35, even 40 million for the uh, Ivorian, but he's an excellent player. He makes a lot more sense than somebody like Conor Gallagher. I hope West Ham don't get Conor Gallagher. I don't think it would make sense. I think the fact that Chelsea are asking for 50 million is stupid, but that's the market we live in nowadays. What do you make to these transfers if they come off? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll catch you all again in the next video. See ya!